Hi there my magical star beings, this is Psychic Siren Tarot and welcome to the channel. In today's reading we're going to be taking a look at how your co-workers view you. Okay, so please remember this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm now going to show you your crystals. So for pile number one we have this clear quartz crystal. For pile number two, we have this green eventry necklace crystal. And for pile number three, we have carnelian. I'm going to give you a few seconds to pick a pile. Pick whichever pile you're most drawn to. If you're drawn to more than one pile, you can pick two or all of them. Your intuition will always know best. You can also pause the video if you need more time. And if you're done picking a pile, please find the timestamps for your pile in the description box below. Then I will see you at your reading. Hi there my pile number ones, if you chose this clear quartz crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how your coworkers view you. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching. You chose the card balance with stability and standing firm. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of your cards for you. Okay, so for your cards we have calming the waters with peaceful self-regulation. It's funny that as I pulled this card I heard... Um, someone in my home like pouring water but we have calming the waters so that's quite interesting for your next card we have hostilities with conflict and unrest okay this is going to be interesting um we have harvest with gathering of blessings And lastly, we have idyllic times with the garden and paradise. For your tarot cards, we have the Hierophant. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Page of Wands. We have the Magician. And we have this last card, which translates to the Hanged Woman, which is basically the Hanged Man. Okay, my pile number ones, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly how your co-workers view you. So I'm feeling from some of the energies um, straight off the bat, I don't feel like it's all the energies, but perhaps a quarter of your co-workers or one or two of your co-workers. You get what I mean? It's not all of your co-workers. So I see a mix of good and bad here, like a duality kind of energy. Um, so I'm just going to let you be aware of that before we start uh, to just be open minded to the messages that come through, because I guess this is how your co-workers view you. So the feeling I get here is in the Hierophant card, the woman has a key, but it's not in her hands. You know, it's floating directly above her. So to me, a key kind of gives me the energy if it's right under, on top of balance. I feel like perhaps people at your work, your co-workers, view you as someone that has a key to unlock many doors within your company or wherever you work, where your co-workers are. Um, they feel like you have that key to unlock doors and 
perhaps with the hierophant showing up, you know, the hierophant talks about a person that is very wise. So in this case, I would perhaps take it as knowledge or um, knowing what decisions to make to unlock the key to success and stability, you know what I mean? Um, you know, we even have harvest with gathering of blessings. So there is this feeling of your co-workers seeing your potential. If you aren't already more successful than them, I feel like they view you as someone that is going to create that since it's opposite the magician card. And you're patient enough to wait for the results of your harvest and you're able to, you know, when we talk about harvesting what we have worked for, we usually put in a lot of work in order to harvest those blessings, to harvest, just like when we plant a flower, um, it takes a while for it to harvest fruits, for example, or a tree, you know what I mean? Um, it takes a lot of walk, work. I said walk by mistake. Uh, so perhaps a lot of you walk around a lot and you're just busy, busy bees. Um, but perhaps some of you just are very um, much working hard for the things you want to grow. Because even in this magician card, do you see here like the flowers that are being created here? Um, and I'm noticing the zodiac signs here in a wheel. So... Perhaps that lets me know something about your birth chart. Perhaps this is like a separate message of not how they view you, but perhaps something in your birth chart assists you in creating these blessings within your career. Um, so that's just a separate message your co-workers have nothing to do with. Um, but I guess since we are doing a career reading, this energy is coming out. So perhaps something in your birth chart um, aligns to this energy of a harvest of blessings and perhaps your co-workers view you in that light as someone that is going to always create their own sort of key towards the blessings to unlock doors to achievements and stability and blessings in the terms of you know, success, but also monetary value, but also blessings in terms of the harder you work, the better you get at what you do. As we see with the page of wands here, someone um, playing an, a music instrument. So perhaps some of you are quite, you know, working in creative fields, or perhaps some of you have a lot of creative ideas, or you are just Perhaps your personality is that of creating something new. Um, perhaps you're really good at your craft and what you do at your work. And people, your co-workers specifically, see your potential and see where your kind of skills can land you. Even if you haven't been there for long. Because the pages sometimes talk about someone that is still learning. So I... I feel like there's the sense of even if you may still be learning and you may be new here or um, you, the people there are much older than you, for example, or have worked there much longer than you, many more years than you, there's this feeling of them seeing you for some of you if you're quite new or um, have been there for a few years but your other co-workers have been there longer. There's this feeling of they might view you as someone that is actually even more talented than them um someone that may have a lot more potential than them even if you don't view yourself this way this is how your co-workers view you so i feel like they are some of them see this they see your potential and your ability to create this and they may get a little bit um, hostile towards you because they see your potential even though you haven't been here for long or you know you may have been here for long but perhaps they believe that they I'm hearing entitled like the world owes them something some of you uh, just take the messages as they resonate because they're different for all of you um, watching but perhaps some of them are just also lazy and they're not working as hard as you to create those blessings those harvests that come through because I mean if you're coming through as the magician then perhaps 
them throwing jealousies at you or throwing hits at you is what I see here because this woman is holding a ball of energy and looks like she's about to attack someone with this ball of energy. So I feel like perhaps some co-workers here view you in a negative light because you're able to go out there and create it and work hard and they see your potential. Um, and there's this feeling of them knocking you with something like perhaps insults or passive aggressiveness or you can just tell that the energy is off in some way if that makes sense for some of your co-workers so I'd say to just trust your intuition on that I don't see any cards about intuition but the Hierophant to me represents a wiseness following that wise inner knowing wisdom you get what I mean um so trust your intuition I mean we even have three full moons here so I guess if I had to read between the lines the lunar energies are that of intuition so do trust your intuition when it comes to people you may um co-workers that may be kind of hostile towards you create conflict towards you um be kind of passive aggressive or rude to you or you can just see a look in their eyes that doesn't like quite look right i'm hearing gossiping for some um so just trust your intuition with the messages that come through and discern which ones are yours specifically. But um, I don't know why Spirit is showing me this cartoon. I need to actually remember what it was. Oh, it was the movie Over the Hedge. So what Spirit just showed me with this full moon is like the beginning scene when... Um, I think it was a little squirrel. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Um, I have watched this movie when I was like young, young, young. But it was a long time ago. <laughs> so I'm surprised that this even came through. Um, but in the beginning, this little character tried to steal um, the bear's kind of food that it made, that it like harvested for the winter time in a cave um, and it showed me a vision of like spirit showed me a vision of like it biting the moon but then it turning into a chip like the beginning scene of the movie where he's about to you know steal all this food for his winter so perhaps that is a message in itself in the sense of like seeing the full moon turning into a chip and you're about to eat it. So perhaps the things you've worked for have come to fruition like with a full moon. And perhaps, you know, after the full moon we see this energy of like... After the full moon it goes to the new moon towards new beginnings. So perhaps um, some of your co-workers view you in a sense of... You are almost about to come to fruition to what you're about to create here with the magician or perhaps you already have, um, but perhaps going to the next level. I'm not sure. Take the messages as they resonate, but they see everything you've grown for yourself um, and how patient you've been while working at it. Just like the bear that is probably taking a long time to... Um, collect all those foods for winter you get what I mean um, but since the little squirrel <laughs> steals the bear's um, snacks there's this feeling of perhaps your co-workers see you hard, working hard but you know perhaps they want to steal an idea of yours with a creative idea take these messages as they resonate because I don't want them to scare you I just want you to be alert and to discern which messages are yours and which are not. So perhaps they want to steal something that you've already created, like a creative idea in a meeting or um, steal or copy your work, if that makes sense, or um, try to bash your work in some way so that they can steal that role. Or That's the feeling I get. It's like they almost want to... Um, come in and take away what you've done or perhaps you know like let's say you created for yourself and they give you a backhanded compliment they're not taking it away from you but perhaps they're trying to dim your light in some way 
Um, so I would just be wary of this energy to not tell your plans at work is the message I'm hearing from spirit to kind of focus on your skill and upgrading it. I'm hearing the song by Beyonce, let me upgrade you. So there is the sense of you coming to full fruition of what you've created here for yourself and your work. Um, to keep it a secret, to keep it to yourself, um, kind of just keep calm and act like nothing's wrong, but trust your intuition. Uh, be very careful of who you tell your personal information to at work. Um, and just kind of cover your tracks is what I will say. Uh, like if you create a creative idea, don't tell anybody until it's done. You get what I mean? Or um, if you do something great, if you get, for example, a promotion, a salary increase, don't tell people unless it comes out in some other way where your boss tells them. You get what I mean? Um, keep your kind of um, level ups to yourself since I heard the song Let Me Upgrade You by Beyonce. Okay, so that is the message I see from Spirit. Um, in terms of the birth chart energies, you know, I'm really interested in seeing. It's kind of similar to a, a reading I did the other day for pile number three where I saw something about their birth chart really made them stand out and, you know, I think it was their beauty or something like that. But in this case, I'm seeing something in your birth chart supports um, something you want to create in your career. So let's say, for example, you are someone creative. Let's say you are someone creative and you have a lot of Leo placements that would support your dream of doing something creative. Or let's say you had a lot of planets in the fifth house or a north node in the fifth house or north node in a fire sign or Leo, you know what I mean? That would support your dream of doing something creative. Let's say, um, let's say even like Leo in the 12th house is something I'm hearing. I don't know why the 12th house. I don't know. That's just what I heard. So I'm just going to trust it. I don't know why. But perhaps the 12th house is also like that energy of hidden energies, mysteries. So perhaps you're meant to keep your skill kind of to yourself until it gets out in a way. So for example, if you're an artist and the co-workers I'm talking about are competitors, then keeping it to yourself until it comes out, for example, like if you're actually a musician or um, do artistic things, you get what I mean? Or um, let's say if you have a creative ideas in your business like with creating something with a magician and you know you're about to harvest something don't let your competitors know what's going to happen before it comes to full fruition you get what I mean um if you have that kind of placement or any placements in the 12th house um that have to do with career so I'm hearing Mercury in the 12th house. So just take these messages as they resonate. Like I'm just getting the energies for different people. Um, but also just look at the planets in your birth chart. And if you don't quite understand, um, look at where Taurus is in your chart. Because I just saw the flashlight. So that's yes. Um, Spirit sometimes flashes lights for me if they're saying yes. So something about Taurus, wherever Taurus is in your chart, if you have the birth chart wheel, you will probably need your accurate birth time. Um, perhaps look at the second house as well. What is What signs and planets are in your second house? Because your second house represents wealth. Um, perhaps look at your third house because the third house is the house of communication. Okay, what signs in the third house, what planets are there. Um, the fifth house is things we do for fun. So if you are doing a hobby for a business, perhaps look into your fifth house or what planets are in your fifth house to see what you really find fun or passion in because I feel like there's some sense of you, some of you finding passion in your career with all these sunflowers and 
I mean, the musical instrument, perhaps you find your job to be quite interesting in the way like you know when you listen to music and it just takes you to somewhere else perhaps you know you really focus on your work and you kind of get um in a trance by doing it but you're enjoying it if that makes sense um i'm also seeing the sixth house look at your sixth house what signs are in your sixth house what planets are in your sixth house because sixth house has to do with daily energies as something I'm hearing and what we give ourselves service to in the world. Seventh house, um, I'm hearing seventh house for some of you like in Libra. And then if your seventh house is in Libra, you probably have an Aries rising. Um, <laughs> so I'm seeing that like, or some of you have a specific sign in the seventh house, like Taurus, for example. And you know, you're in the beauty industry if you're having Libra or Taurus placements there or the fifth house um, and then like you're in a beauty industry or you're doing makeup or cosmetology or um, selling dresses, clothes, things like that or you know you're interested in those kind of things like fashion, beauty, love, like love could even be counseling marriage therapists. <laughs> I see that as like the seventh house or the eighth house could even be um, a therapist kind of energy. So I guess it can be different for everyone. You know, what kind of career would be supported by your birth chart. So try to analyze it if you don't know anything about it. You can, of course, comment and just ask me to analyze it for you. Um, but spirit is leading me to the houses since we see the birth chart wheel. And I would also heavily look at the 10th house and the 11th house because the 10th house is the um, house of career uh, and what planets on the 10th house, what signs and also the 11th house. The 11th house deals with social media, fans, things like that. So checking what's in your 11th house, the sign and the planets can also help you figure out a little bit more of who you would attract on social media if you work on social media or if you have fans of every, any kind like if you um, are an Instagram model or <laughs> something like that or you know you make artistic things and people on social media follow you or you have a business on social media checking what planets and signs are in the 11th house can help you there so I feel like that was just like the overall energy I was feeling I was feeling a lot there but something in your birth chart specifically is what I'm seeing I don't know what for who for when like everybody here is watching is different but something in your birth chart assists you to creating the success in your career that you're in right now or to a career you're going to be in. Um, and that's what I'm seeing there. I know that has nothing to do with co-workers, but I'm seeing that message very clearly. Um, yeah, I don't know why I'm getting the message to drink a lot of water over the next three days. I don't know why. <laughs> Um, I'm just feeling very thirsty while I do your reading. Okay, I'm feeling the energy for the rest of your co-workers. I wanted to keep the negative things for the beginning and move on to more positive things. Um, but five of wands can also represent competition. But in this case, we see a woman, you know, gardening and making the sunflowers look real pretty. Uh, the sunflower energy reminds me of like, the energy of you really enjoying your job so perhaps um, your co-workers view you as someone that enjoys your craft enjoys what you do someone that has a lot of wisdom someone that has the keys to success in some way or has patiently um, been working so hard to create the success in their uh, career and in their finances so this is for you my pound of ones um, they view you, your co-workers, as someone that is perfecting your craft or is really um, paying attention to the small details. They view you as someone that is very calm when you are working. You have this calm presence. You're just 
focused on your work is something I see. They view you as someone very passionate, someone that finds a lot of joy within your work, but is also very calm at the same time. Calm and grounded and stable within your energy. Um, I'm hearing Virgo for some of you. Some of you are earth signs, some of you are fire signs, and some of you are water signs. Um, but I am getting that energy very heavily. If you don't relate to the signs, that's okay. Um, perhaps the message then is not for you. But the feeling I get here, um, I'm even feeling Capricorn for some of you. Um, the feeling I get here is like, your co-workers view you as someone very hardworking, someone that's very focused on what you're doing, but also someone that is always growing, someone that um, has skills that are ever growing. They see your potential and they see you growing more and more each day is what I see within your cards. Um, I feel like some people at your work really love you not the people that have hostile energies to you, to you, but like some people really love you at your work, like your co-workers, they kind of view you in a very loving way and they view you in a beautiful light and they view you as someone that is going to have a lot of abundance or is going to grow a lot within your career, is going to create a lot within your career and patiently do so and patiently grow and plan and be balanced and stable and firm within your own energy. And I feel like some of your co-workers think that you're going to go towards something new later on and gain even more success. I don't know why. Um, if you are, don't tell them before it happens. And I feel like with the kind of jealous energy as mentioning, I feel like your angels, your guides are protecting you because we have the paradise card here. So... I feel like the other co-workers love you, view you as someone that is pretty calm, calm, <laughs> stable, balanced, like you don't get triggered easily or angry easily or um, you're not passive aggressive in any type of way. You're just your normal self each and every day. Your moods aren't like up and down, if that makes sense. Not to shame anyone who has moods that are like that because we're all human with different personalities but they view you as someone that is quite stable in your energy someone that is always the same each day and it's not in a bad way of like predictable not in a bad way but like more so the type of energy like Today, pile number one is happy to be at work. They're calm. They're peaceful. Tomorrow, they're not going to switch up and shout at me for no reason. You get what I mean? Perhaps the other people at work are like that. So perhaps that's why they're showing me that comparison of that energy. There's a sense of people um, viewing you quite highly at your work, at your co-workers. And um, they really like you, the ones that aren't having, you know, these jealousy energies towards you or competitive energies towards you. They see that you're going to open doors and that you actually do deserve it is what I feel here because they feel like you've transformed in a sense since you've been there and they've seen your growth. So your other co-workers that dearly love you see you growing and is very proud of you. That's how they view you. They see you as someone very peaceful, someone that does deserve that success, someone that um, is very loving, patient, kind, and they very much value you at, you know, your company or wherever you work if you have your own business. Like, that's the feeling I get from your co-workers and how they view you. So they do see you as someone that is going to harvest a lot of blessings and continue to be st stable and secure in your own energy and someone that is going to climb the ladder to success, open doors to success is something I see within your cards. And that is how your co-workers view you, my pal number ones. Um, also, last message, you know, you clicked, not clicked, <laughs> maybe something about clicked. Um, did you click on another reading about similar energies or did you... 
let's click did you do something on social media where you posted something and they clicked on it I don't know something about clicking in social media or online I don't know you'll have to think about what that is but <laughs> I, w I meant to say clear seeing like with the um, clear quartz crystal perhaps they view you as someone that is also very um, clear and focused on what you want and there's no hidden things behind you you're real uh, that's the feeling I get you have a clear focus on your energy where you're putting your energy and that is how your co-workers view you so that was your reading my pal number ones I really hope that this resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye Hi there, my pal number twos. If you chose the screen of Venturine Crystal, this reading is for you. We're going to be taking a look at how do your co-workers view you. So please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as the messages may differ for everyone watching. I am going to go ahead and show your cards in a moment, but you chose the card Wisdom with Learning, Joy, Art and Music. I'm going to add your cards. Let's see. So we have Shamanic Journey with Purpose, Attunement, and Vision Quest. Okay. We have Deep Emotions with Unknown Feelings and Past Life Influences. Just to note something, I'm feeling a pain within my solar plexus chakra. Um, tapping into the energies so I will see what that means in a moment um, perhaps it's not yours but someone else's like a message for your co-workers or something we'll see in a moment so we have sacred breath and sound with life force and communication we have miracles with ancient wisdom do we see a person here making a flame with their hands and it's by the stomach area so is that not interesting that I felt something in my solar plexus and this person is creating a flame or some kind of ball of energy by their stomach very interesting we'll see what that is in a moment we have the seven of cups I don't know why <laughs> this is gonna sound really weird but your energy tastes like um what is the word I'm trying to think of it cotton candy candy floss is what your energy tastes like and I don't know what that means but I'll keep that in mind and I'll google the spiritual meaning of it to see deeper into what it is but perhaps like me almost like tasting or feeling the energy of candy floss is like the energy of you being sweet in some way at work maybe how your co-workers view you um so we have the eight of pentacles yeah for you my pal number twos i'm feeling a lot of sensations with messages so i'll have to keep notes of them i'm just gonna say them out loud as i go along but i'll have to keep notes of them in my mind we have the chariot so i'm feeling um the right side of my chi kind of hurt so i just want to write this down okay i also felt an itch in my left foot but perhaps I'm getting the messages through feelings for you because I mean we even have the deep emotions card I'll just have to go and decipher them um, after we lay the cards so we have the four of wands we have the eight of wands Okay, my pal number twos, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly what your co-workers think of you, okay? So, I'm seeing for some of you this is co-workers and clients. If you work with clients, just take the messages as they resonate. 
Um, I'm seeing some of you work with people's emotions with the deep emotions card. So perhaps some of you are, you know, psychologists, therapists, counselors. Um, I just heard grief counselor or childhood counselor. Um, I'm feeling like some of you help people see things in a different perspective or light within their emotions. So some of you work for HR or um, like the feeling I get is at work, you know, when you have someone that mediates two people and their emotions uh, is like that third party that speaks between people or a work counselor. I don't know something about that, like um, something to do with emotions or perhaps you are good with working with emotions in your industry in some type of way. Like let's say you work in customer service, for example, and um, a customer comes to you and they're feeling deeply angered by something and you communicate to them to calm them down, to make them feel better, um, to move along with the problem and create change. You get what I mean? Um, so it can be in any way possible, but we also see communication here. So some of you are psychologists and you talk to, you know, your clients and they feel their deep emotions and show you their deep emotions and you give them words of wisdom because the dolphin is the energy of wisdom, intelligence. Uh, so perhaps you give them wise words to fill them back up with positivity and joy because the dolphin is kind of a playful creature. Um, so perhaps, you know, if you are a counselor or a psychologist or anything like that and you communicate to your clients or if you um, work with customers or clients in any type of way, shape or form, your clients view you as someone that is quite um, having a, like a calming effect, if that makes sense to their deep emotions, to whatever they're feeling. You are viewed as someone that can find solutions to the problems they're um, having right now or uh, yeah, that's the feeling I get. You're seen as someone that gives wise words of wisdom. I mean, we even have the wisdom card, someone that is quite intelligent and knowledgeable and um, there's this feeling of you being quite quite very much like a joy to be around if that makes sense some of you are teachers and of course you would have to guide your children or your teenagers or college students for some of you through life in some way or through any type of emotion they're feeling communicate and teach them but in a playful wise intelligent way you get what i mean um so I'm seeing that. Some of you work in the medical industry is something I'm seeing. Some of you are tarot readers and are energy healers and you are able to look deeply within someone's emotions because the purple here kind of reminds me of, you know, psychic abilities as well as the swan reaching like shamanic energies. The swan actually does represent like that kind of shamanic energy. You know, when you reach into those swan realms, I don't know how to quite explain it, but it's just something I've seen before in my downloads. I don't know how to explain it logically, but something I've seen, the fact that we have the shamanic journey card, I feel like you are able to have this intuitive knowing of why a person is feeling something deeply and find solutions to those problems that they're feeling. If you're a tarot reader or an energy healer, Reiki healer, or you heal people through your words, what you say to them, um, perhaps you are an artist, you know, like we see here. Um, some of you are singers because that artistic energy is opposite the communication card. Um, some of you paint and you express yourself through painting and the deep emotions you felt, which is healing to others, if that makes sense. And you share maybe wise words of wisdom through the way you express your artistic vision or through writing words on a canvas. I don't know, but there's this idea of inspiring, giving wisdom, um, giving words of motivation. 
um, uplifting people if if I must and healing their emotions when they view your art or listen to you know your poetry read your books um, see your work in any type of way hear your singing that's the feeling I get from your cards some of you um, have podcasts is something I'm seeing and you speak about spirituality or deep emotions mental health things like that and how to move forward and find solutions to it some of you are I said Wraithy healers I keep seeing that as well um, some of you are vets you heal animals something I'm seeing uh, that's kind of what I'm getting right now Kind of what I'm getting. So yeah, just take the messages as they resonate. My pile number twos. If I never said your profession, it's okay. But perhaps you know you have these qualities or traits within you. Or perhaps you use these skills in some way of like what I've mentioned in your career in some way. Okay. So I see that you are being viewed at work as someone that can help people through their deep emotions and feelings even when they don't know specifically why they're feeling a certain way what's making them feel a certain way um i feel for a lot of you that are you know counselors or heal people emotionally in any type of way you're really good at seeing where the anxiety comes from because i'm seeing a vision of a therapist writing something and someone is telling them about their anxieties um, some of you are physically doctors and you prescribe medicine to people for the anxieties or you know you say words of wisdom that help their anxieties go away or like let's say you work in customer service let's say someone is very anxious because they're like Oh my gosh, I, I, I ordered this Christmas present online two days ago. I'm not sure if it's going to come to me by Christmas. Can you please check for me? And they're hysterical and like, not hysterical, but that's what I'm hearing from spirit. They're almost like not thinking clearly or logical anymore. They're just in a rush and you're trying to calm them down with how you communicate and how you speak and you're like ma'am sir come down i don't know that kind of feeling almost um that's the feeling i get and the feeling i get from your co-workers is they view you as someone that is good with your communication good at getting people unstuck in some type of way or taking away the anxiety or their deep emotions like anger rage taking it out of them in some type of way with the words you speak so your co-workers view you as someone that is naturally charming um i'm seeing prescription medicine for some of you like i can't speak on that but i'm feeling like perhaps you are a psychiatrist some of you and you prescribe people medicines or a doctor and you help people heal that way um or for some of you your vets like i said um and you maybe work well with animals where maybe those animals are scared to come in, scared to get an injection, scared to get a checkup. They're scared of the other dogs or they want to bark at the other dogs, but you know how to calm them down. Does that make sense with your words? Something about that is something I'm seeing heavily. Or let's say you are a tarot reader, like I mentioned, and um, or Reiki healer, spiritual healer. And you get a client and they say, you know, I, I'm feeling very stressed out because of this. Can you help me in some way? And something you do with the energy healing or the wise words you use helps them. Or perhaps your energy is just naturally calming that it invites calm and peace into their space. I'm seeing some of you are like yoga teachers or meditative teachers. You're seen as guides in some way to your clients and to your co-workers perhaps you're also if you don't resonate with any of this perhaps you're seen as a guide to your co-workers where maybe you listen to their problems like oh my gosh my husband did this and this last night but you're just there listening to them you know what I mean helping them move forward so then like I feel like you're viewed at work with your co-workers and your clients as someone with a lot of healing energy someone th with a lot of wisdom someone with a wise communication healing energy that's able to make someone calm and peaceful um there's this feeling of you having 
amazing, amazing communication skills and nurturing energy, nurturing, loving energy to either your co-workers or your clients and you're able to feel help them feel less stressed out is something I'm seeing, um, able to help them find solutions to the problems that keep them stuck in a sense, to the problems that keep them disappointed in their life either with clients or co-workers or with your work uh, is how your co-workers view you. They view you as someone that is very balanced and stable within your own emotions but also within your work. Um, I'm also seeing for some of you you look very smart with the way you dress at work. Some of you look cute with the way you dress uh, like we see there. Some of you just look very respectable in the way you dress is something I'm hearing from spirit or your clothes look good quality and that's something your co-workers view you as. I'm hearing nice handwriting for some of you. <laughs> so some of your co-workers have seen you write notes on something or write something or paint something, write poetry, um, type out things and perhaps your communication skills are good. I don't know, something about that or maybe the way you talk to clients, customers, um, how you deal with your co-workers. There's something about that that really just sounds eloquent or good. Um, like I'm even hearing some of you are tire readers and they uh, your clients are kind of view you as someone that... Um, has a lot of knowledge, is quite calm and peaceful, is very wise, or like Reiki healers, spiritual healers, um, someone that's curious towards their approach to why those problems are there and how to work on it and move forward. Um, so yeah, they view you as someone with a very calm, peaceful, healing energy. And I just keep seeing knowledgeable and smart and wise but also calming. You have a comic, calming like effect on others at your workspace in general. Uh, your co-workers view you as someone that even if you have things that disappoint you within your day at work, you still try to find a way to let those feelings out in some way. Um, in a healthy way and self-regulate your deep emotions um, and find a way to make the day positive after something bad happens or something challenging happens. They view you as someone that very much enjoys your work, takes pleasure in your work, finds passion in your work, your co-workers and your clients. They view you as someone that's always creating passionate moments in your work, creating um, happy moments within your work. Spirit is showing me the sunflower clairvoyantly and that's something I see is like happy, joyous, optimistic energies and that's how your co-workers and clients view you. Your co-workers, a lot of them really love you. A lot of them really just have this unity energy with you or your clients. Um, they view you as someone that is very consistent with your work. Someone like that is kind of like they're showing me the Taurus energy of the bull. You don't have to be a Taurus, but like that slow and steady wins the race kind of energy. Um, your coworkers or your clients view you as someone that is within their purpose or has a strong purpose at, you know, your company, something like that. They view you as someone with great values and beliefs in the world and a good sense of personal power. They also view you as someone that is courageous, willing to take risks, um, willing to put ideas out there, someone that's a guide, someone that's loving and tender, but also courageous and brave within... Um, expressing ideas or um, creating something to celebrate that's going to allow the company to move forward and grow or you to move forward and grow. So your co-workers view you as someone that is always having movement in your energy. You're not stagnant or stuck in one place. 
they also view you as someone that is quite loyal and very much like a part of the pack is something I see like they're showing me the wolf spirit um, the wolf spirit also has a hierarchy so uh, perhaps they view you as someone that is going to reach the top of the hierarchy or even if you don't see yourself that way someone that's going to reach ladders to success or create movement within the company or movement or change from your clients I don't know something about that they view you as someone very hardworking, very um, committed to your job they view you as someone very wise someone very pure-hearted and loving and joyous to be around someone that's a fast learner um, someone that's very intelligent someone that brings miracles and change and um, changes the energies around within the workspace. They also view you as someone very lucky, someone very peaceful, uh, someone, like I keep getting peaceful, yeah. Um, someone that is able to romanticize their future of what they wanna create and actually go out and create that. Someone that has a lot of creative ideas, that's someone how they view you, your co-workers, and you know, you're always moving forward and creating something new, creating new paradigms within your career. Your co-workers also either think many things of you with the seven of cups or either think that you have a lot of options within your career is something I'm seeing or a lot of luck since you chose the green adventuring crystal. Um, they view you as someone that's going to create freedom because we see a horse here. That's something I see. Someone that is very clear and focused on what you want, um, what change you want to create within your own career, but also the company or where you work, something I'm seeing, or within your clients. So the candy floss, uh, candy floss I tasted in the beginning coming back to it now that I've mentioned everything I needed to say I see that as sweet because I said your co-workers really love you they see you as someone that is tender loving sweet so candy floss I'm going to take that as the message of you being sweet spirit is showing me a spider um right now not part of the things I saw earlier but Spider to me is like that energy of creating your own web, creating your own reality, and that's how your coworkers view you. With the pain I felt in my solar plexus, I see that as either you uplifting people at work, helping them realize their talents, their strengths, where their creative energy lies, where they can create more too with your coworkers, or perhaps you are healing that within yourself and learning to stand out within what you create artistically or your ideas, things like that. Um, learning to speak your words with authenticity because the solar plexus is also that or you cheer your clients up or the pets up or the customers up. Something about cheering people up because the solar plexus to me is also that happy energy. Um, but it's also the energies of self-worth so perhaps you're also healing your self-worth is something they view you as healing your self-worth to know that you're worthy of really shining in your career and creating more that allows you to move to the next paradigm move to the next level so they see you as someone with a lot of potential your co-workers and someone that is uplifting to be around Someone that reminds people of their own talents so they can shine with you, if that makes sense. Um, I felt a, a itch in my left foot in the beginning of the reading. And it's like the light's almost <laughs> making weird things around me. So they're telling me to pay attention here and I'm kind of feeling dizzy while seeing this. So it gives me the feeling of like, you know, when you are pulled into the deep end of something and you don't know what step to take next because feet I see it as taking a step and with the chariot I see this as momentum movement um, so feet carry us and take us somewhere along with the chariot card supporting my 
feeling that is a vision of something. You get what I mean? Um, so what step you're going to take next perhaps is spiritual and within your own spirit and soul before you take the physical step step because the left foot is to me the spiritual side of us the emotional body of us so perhaps for example let's say you are a psychologist before you go into your session before you take that step into your office where you're going to write down what they're feeling help them communicate to them before you do that perhaps calming yourself down grounding yourself within peace before you take the actual step of action or let's say you're doing something creative before you rush into the actual step of action for example i'm just going to use these two examples just take the energy as it resonates for your specific career and what you do but let's say you are creating something artistically, like singing a song. You don't just jump into it without knowing what you're going to do first. First, you calm yourself, breathe, breathe into your energy, tell yourself you're worthy, give these wise words of wisdom to yourself. Some of you heal people through your art, is what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, but yeah, and then you may be organize what you're going to use your tools whether you're painting on a canvas if you're writing in a book lyrics you get what i mean your tools for what you're going to use how the vibe is going to be what the setting is going to be are you going to play music while you do it um so i feel like the first step is usual uh like emotional or spiritual in some way like calming yourself down and getting yourself into the ambience is something i'm hearing from spirit before you actually go in and create the actual work is something i'm seeing and then a pain on the right side of my cheek it kind of reminds me of when someone bites their cheek so i'd see that as stress be aware of stress within your career but also perhaps your your clients are stressed or um, your co-workers are stressed in some way some of them see you having movement so perhaps they're stressing <laughs> but I'm seeing mostly good things for your reading I, I feel like you're very lucky in this next chapter of your life with your co-workers and um, your movement leveling up in your career um, I see that so yeah that was your reading my pile number twos I really hope that this reading resonated if it did please don't forget to like comment subscribe and I can't wait to see you in my next reading bye hi there my pile number threes if you chose this carnelian crystal this reading is for you we're going to be taking a look at how your co-workers view you so please be aware this is a general reading to only take what resonates and leave the rest as the messages may differ for everyone watching we have earth magic with fearlessness and removing obstacles Okay, so for your cards, we have Opening Heart with Deep Connections and Water Blessings. We have Adjustment with Looking Back and Moving Forward. We have Clarity with Planning and uh, Releasing Illusion. We have Abundance with Fortune, Wealth, and Plenty. For your tarot cards, we have the Star. We have the Nine of Cups. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Queen of Wands, or actually, I think this is the King of Wands, <laughs> sorry about that. We have the Hermit as well. Okay, my pal number threes, now that we have your cards laid out, I see exactly how your co-workers view you. So I'm kind of picking up the energy 
Like, I just want to say, first of all, I feel most of your co-workers do have a deep connection with you, my pal number threes, and do kind of look up to you in a sense or see your potential in a sense. Um, they see you shine, but at the same time, I want to warn you ahead of time that there may be some jealousy involved here as well at the same time. I'm not feeling it so much because I feel like most of your co-workers like you and view you in a beautiful way, whereas some, I feel like there's some jealousy here, which I will explain in a moment. So I just wanted to tell you ahead of time what I'm seeing immediately in your cards. So, you know, with your co-workers, um, with the opening hard card, deep connections and water blessings, um, I feel like there is a sense of unity between you and your co-workers in some type of way. There's this feeling of them seeing what you're creating in your career, seeing how hard you work, seeing um, how passionate you are about your work. And there's this feeling of most of them celebrating your wins. Um, most of them just kind of seeing how... The feeling I get is you want to create um, a lot of change within your career. You want to kind of move towards this abundant state within your career. Um, and abundance doesn't just have to be with wealth. It can be, you know, having that success and moving to a higher level within your career. Perhaps you already have or your co-workers see your potential where they see you reaching a level up within your career, where they see you kind of um, building your world around you. You know what I mean? Kind of like... They see you as someone and view you as someone that is very organized, that always plans, that always has clarity, um, focus on what you want to do is what I see. Okay, so your co-workers view you in a light that they see you as someone that is very focused, very driven, very ambitious, very much planning everything you need to do, planning your to-do list, planning what you need to do each day, um, planning the month ahead. You have a good eye for detail is something I'm hearing from Spirit. Um, and it seems like most of your co-workers really love you in a sense. Um, so for a lot of you, your co-workers view you in a sense that you're very nurturing. You're a very nurturing and kind person, generous person. Um, and you shine within your own unique way at your work, at your career. So there's this feeling of your co-workers looking at you as if you are very passionate, very driven to achieve something within your career, but also they view you as someone that is very nurturing, compassionate, graceful, very much like opening your heart to them. So I feel like some of your co-workers view you as a friend, as a dear friend. Um, and they can kind of, they kind of view you as someone that really loves your job or really um, opens your heart to others at your workspace, if that makes sense, where you're kind of transparent with how you feel. Um, your co-workers feel that you're supportive, that you're fun to be around, that you're happy to be around, that you are nurturing and compassionate when they are having problems or um, need kind of clarity on something. I feel like you're that go-to person that will help them kind of see something and understand what they're doing wrong or understand what kind of mistake they're making. There's this kind of feeling of your co-workers, most of them viewing you as very supportive, fun to be around, much like being a friend, um, opening your heart to them. They think that you have a big heart, most of your co-workers. Um, and there's this feeling of like your co-workers, how do I put this in words? Let's say they are at work and you're at work and 
Um, they tell you about the problems that they're experiencing at home. I'm hearing good listener, compassionate, empathic. Um, your coworkers feel like you have a big heart and that's how they view you. And I'm feeling like most of your coworkers don't feel any type of deception from you. They view you as a very generous, kind-hearted person that opens your heart up to people even if they're not even if you don't consider your co-workers friends at work this is how they consider you and view you okay um they view you as very graceful very loving very supportive that's the feeling i get so yeah like i was trying to say um let's say a co-worker tells you about their problems at home and then you'd listen you'd give them advice you'd um, cheer them up in some way you'd support them or let's say they come to you and they don't understand the work that they're doing um, if they're newer then I feel like you'd give them clarity you'd help them um, see what mistakes they're making or help them see what they're doing wrong or help them see what they're not seeing if that makes sense or help them um, find clarity within what they're meant to do if they don't quite understand the instructions I feel like you're that kind of person or let's say someone has a big to-do list at your work um, your co-workers and you don't have that much to do they feel like they can come to you for help um, and you will help them you will be there for them I'm hearing reliable structured planning um, they feel like you are very I don't know why I'm feeling Virgo energy or like earth sign energy but they feel like you're very focused at work is something I'm seeing um, that you see everything that you see the little details is something I'm seeing okay I feel like your co-workers gain a lot of them gain a certain type of joy being around you they feel like you are funny they feel like you make them smile so a lot of your co-workers do view you in a high light is something I'm seeing and they they view you with love is most of them I'm seeing okay I'm kind of getting the feeling that most of your co-workers although you are someone that is planned organized um, you are focused they also see you as someone that goes with the flow that isn't uh, too much in their head so you know you're focused you plan your day ahead but you're also not um, over the top with that if that makes sense so that's how they view you there's no shame to people that are very organized planned, detailed and that's their whole personality at all but um, I'm feeling like your co-workers view you as a mix of personality where you are planned, focused, you have clarity on what you need to do for the day, on what you need to do for the month, um, you have clarity on what you want to achieve, you're focused, you're goal driven, you're ambitious but at the same time they view you as someone very fun to be around, someone that goes with the flow. Um, they, they view you as someone very peaceful, very loving, very nurturing and compassionate at the same time. So they view you as someone with um, those two different sides to you. So that is what I see here. Um, I also feel like they see you as someone that... I'm feeling very calming. Like, let's say someone at your work is stressed out because they have a lot to do or they're just stressed out from their own personal things. I feel like you have the soothing presence to you. Like, okay, breathe, breathe. <laughs> like that kind of energy. I don't know how to explain it. But perhaps your presence is just like that, even if you don't consider your coworkers friends. Um, so yeah, I'm feeling that and they see that, well, they view you as someone that um, loves your work. 
someone that finds a lot of passion within your work, someone that is very, um, I keep hearing goal-driven and ambitious, something I'm seeing. So your co-workers feel like you are always creating and building. You're a hard worker, something they think of you as, or they view you as a hard worker, someone that wants to create solutions, someone that wants to improve the company, but also improve themselves or wherever you're working, I don't know. Um, that's the feeling I'm getting. They also view you as someone that is a good co-worker to have around, very reliable, very structured, very much goal-driven. Um, and there's the sense of you being nurturing, but you're also your co-workers viewing you as someone that has strong boundaries, someone that speaks up for themselves. Like, let's say you're in a meeting, for example, and you have an idea, you're going to speak out about that idea and really stand in your power is something I'm seeing from your guides um, of how your co-workers view you. They view you as someone very emotionally strong. Um, even if you have something that is holding you down personally, you're not going to let that get in the way of your goals is something I'm seeing of how they view you, even if you don't view yourself this way. So they view you as someone that speaks up for others, someone that speaks up for yourself, or um, just kind of this energy of like, if something is wrong that is happening, you will speak out about it and um, kind of help everyone out while speaking out for yourself at the same time. Um, so let, like, let's say you're in a meeting, for example, and someone steals your idea, you would speak out about that. Or let's say they're doing something wrong, you would speak out to HR or something like that, some of you. Or some of you are just very outspoken is what I'm hearing, um, how your co-workers view you. Very strong, very outspoken. Um, so your co-workers view you as someone that has a lack of fear, someone that can uh, create change within your environment, within the company, within where you work, your career or your own um, your own position. So perhaps they view you as someone that is becoming more and more powerful each day within what you do, within your skills is something I'm seeing heavily, your skills. So this is how your co-workers view you as someone that is gaining more and more power, someone that follows their own instincts and um, makes the right kind of moves is something I'm hearing, how your co-workers view you. So there's this feeling um, of spirit showing me clairvoyantly a wolf. And you know, a wolf has a certain kind of hierarchy. And now I understand why I did feel that teeny would have bit of like jealousy. I'm not feeling it so much, but it is perhaps one or two or three co-workers, whereas the rest really like you. But now I know what it is because you know, the wolf is very loyal. So your co-workers view you as someone that is very loyal. The wolf is very powerful. It trusts its own instincts. Like I said, um, you trust your own instincts and you make the right moves. Uh, the wolf is also an animal with a certain type of hierarchy where they're seen as like alpha in some type of way. So what I mean by this is there's a feeling of your co-workers view you as someone gaining more and more power each day or someone that is going to have some kind of change within their career, someone that is going to have some type of level up is what I feel. Um, they instinctively feel you gaining the clarity on how to plan to move towards a level up within your career. And you know, as I said, you're a very generous and helping person as we see someone sitting under here helping this person reach up to get something here, to probably get a plant or for a fruit or for something. And I feel like that's you. But there's this feeling of, um, in a sense, metaphorically, they think that they're at the bottom here and you're on top. 
if that makes sense even though you're so generous and helpful they feel like since uh so just be wary of the co-workers you intuitively feel because we have an owl here and an owl represents intuition i think this is an owl um plus her third eye is kind of beaming if you see here so I would trust your intuition with who you feel is kind of jealous of you at your workspace, your co-workers, um, because I feel like most of them have a good energy towards you, open their heart towards you, are genuine towards you, whereas some of them, I feel, feel intimidated by you, okay, because you're making these big moves or adjustments or changes within your career. Um, or they instinctively feel you are about to move to the next level within your career because of how ambitious and how much of a go-getter you are is what I'm hearing from spirit and there's this feeling of you know how I said the wolf has a certain type of hierarchy there's this feeling of them being intimidated by you feeling like you can gain more of a power over them or a leadership type of position over them if that makes sense um, there's this feeling of, you know, your co-workers really seeing you shining, really seeing you start to get recognition with the star card. Um, your co-workers view you as someone that is about to make some kind of big change, big break within your career. Um, and a lot of them are going to celebrate your wins, whereas others kind of feel insecure within themselves, within their own skills and... They don't feel good enough with what they created work. So there's this kind of jealousy that they're sending towards you. So I feel here when you do create this change or at least before it, don't tell anyone your plans at work. Be very wary of who you tell your goals and your plans to until it comes to fruition. My pile number threes, because I feel like you are my pile you know, since you chose the carnelian, you're very passionate about what you do or you're very goal driven, very ambitious. And like the lion here, you know, the lion is the king of the jungle because we have the lion statue here. Um, that is how your co-workers view you as someone that really enjoys their work, really is good at what they do, their craft. Um, your co-workers view you as someone that shines and is about to get some kind of recognition for what you do. Someone that is fearless, that is courageous to go after what they want. Someone that is gaining more and more power each day. So there's this feeling of the people that are jealous of you, even though you are such a kind hearted person, um, they almost feel like you're stepping on their back to get ahead because of their own insecurities because they're intimidated by you if that makes sense um, because they see you gaining recognition and they want to get that themselves but they feel insecure within what they do they don't feel like what they create has as much impact as you do so there's this feeling of like backhanded ca uh, compliments um, or like them saying things behind your back is what I'm hearing. So be very careful. Trust your intuition with that. Because I do see some kind of transformation happening here within your career. Um, and I do see your co-workers just viewing you as someone that is about to make some kind of big change here within your career, within your level up. Like, I feel like your co-workers view you as someone that is about to make a lot more money as someone that is about to get a promotion or something like that along those lines or a raise so i'm not sure if it's true but this is how your co-workers view you as someone that is about to get a raise and if they view you this way then you can take it to your advantage and really go ahead with it with um curiosity and courage and really um find clarity on how to create this abundance for yourself the success for yourself and there's this feeling of you being very wise but also very knowledgeable um and i feel like most of your co-workers feel you deserve this they're going to be celebrating your wins, whereas others are going to be giving you backhanded compliments when this does happen. 
So I want you to be very wary of the ones that are having a certain type of negative feeling towards you. Um, though this is what I feel within your reading, my pal number threes. I feel like you are beginning to shine within your career. You are going to reach higher heights and make changes and you are going to move to the next level. I don't want you to let the co-workers that do have a certain type of jealousy towards you or are intimidated by your power to get you down in any way. Um, just be wary of who you let in your space, who you tell things to. Really think deeply with the hermit about who is really in your circle at your workspace because I'm feeling like most of them like I mentioned before are your friends they view you as a friend a uh, work friend you know what I mean um, and they really are genuine towards you whereas some of them aren't so just be very wary of who you tell your things to um, that's all I will say for your reading I think though the overall energies were good I think it's maybe just one or two so yeah, that's all I have to say about your reading, my pal number threes. I really hope that this reading resonated. If it did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in my next reading. Bye!